What's up, everyone? Yes, I have finally hit my 100K subscribers on YouTube. But more than that number, that is not really the most important thing. It's just the uh, loyalty and the beautiful comments and amazing support that I'm getting from you guys over the years. It's never been my thing to chase numbers and analytics and, you know, oh, I've got this many subscribers. So if I tweak these videos and clickbait, I'll get more. Uh, one thing that I really feel very uh, adamant and prideful of is the fact that I could have years ago sold out and done weight loss programs uh, using a ketogenic protocol and doing a 90 day program and making probably ungodly amounts of money. And I, I can't do it early on in my coaching of keto, which I wasn't trying to do in the beginning. I was just trying to explain what happened with my mother when she, when I put her on a ketogenic protocol and her glioblastoma stopped growing and which is the most deadly form of brain cancer and she's still alive today 13 years later and so i then started talking about on the internet about this experience years ago and people asked me to coach them and i was like okay didn't know what i was doing didn't really understand the body and learned a lot of lessons, learned a lot from my mistakes. There are things I said before that I don't say now just because you evolve. We, people just, doctors, the medical community, they don't know a lot about the body. We're learning right now. So every time we do something radical, like drop out our carbo carbohydrates, and a lot of people are like, now have done keto. They're like, oh, you can't survive without carbs. Well, of course you can, but there's so much, Sorry for that squeaky chair. <laughs> There's so much misinformation that people just end up giving up and they tend to do better on carbohydrates because their glycogen storages are depleted for so long that it's uh, offsetting their endocrine system and their hormones just tank. Because people just said eat almond flour and cheese and drink coffee and you'll be fine. And the high fat ketogenic ketones are units of fat, not units of protein. So people keep calling it keto and then eating high protein. It's just bizarre. But with that said, I just feel so grateful that I've learned and the people, people are like, what education do you have? <laughs> like you guys studies are always subjective. A lot of rat studies out there or studies that are short term, which people don't even adapt in the first 30 days of doing a ketogenic diet. The body has to learn how to convert units of fat into ketone bodies via the liver. And a lot of things will offset that process that people aren't aware of, including prior damage, uh, any type of blood sugar dysregulation, autoimmunity prior to doing any of these down, uh, diets, uh, low carb diets for, for ketogenesis. And then, then if you do it wrong, then it can exacerbate any type of autoimmunity and make things worse. So it really comes down to N equals one experimentation, not believing in everyone, not even believing in me, but taking bits and pieces of what I've said from the uh, experience I've had with clients over the years, because they, that really is my uh, science uh, arena that I draw from is all the consultations. I had one today with a woman who had tried carnivore and ended up with kidney pain. Of course, now I know why, because of the chronic dehydration from having an electrolyte imbalance, because people don't understand when you cut out carbs, you drop a lot of minerals. And when you're trying to stuff two pounds of beef through the kidneys, those byproducts of protein can get trapped in there and create uh, kidney pain. And the filtration rate can go down, your GFR can go down because of eating two pounds of beef and maybe even having a low kidney function prior to doing a ketogenic or a carnivore diet and not knowing that they were low functioning because they didn't have any pain at that juncture, right? Or having an underlying thyroid problem and then it exacerbates once you do a ketogenic protocol. It was there, but then it was the drop over the glass that made it all come out in, in any type of symptomology. And so you guys over the years have taught me and this concept of chasing the numbers, the likes, the, you know, what sells more, what this, that. I actually got sent this um, product 
And I say no a lot to affiliate programs because I don't care. But um, <laughs> I have an old skateboard injury in my back and I, um, uh, yeah, to make a long story short, um, I bought this saddle and it was the wrong kind of saddle and my back started hurting and I kept thinking I was doing ab crunches the wrong way or something like that. And I was like, oh my God, it's the saddle. No, it's the stupid saddle. And my back was killing me. And so right at this time, this company, I don't even try to pronounce it. This is the company. Here you go. Boom. They sent me this, right? I haven't even used it yet. It's brand new. But it's a back massage. And um, I'm going to try it out. Now, does this have something to do with keto? No. Um, am I going to be selling a bunch of back massagers? Probably not. But for a one-time thing, if it goes well, I'm actually going to do a real review on it. But you guys see I don't really have that many affiliate programs. I have one with ancestral supplements. And half the time I'm telling you, to, you guys to go and try to get it always from real food first. But the point is this, the point of this video is not to go on about products and stuff like that. It's just to say like, this is my life. This is what I've been doing. I've been fed stat fed. Wait, steadfast. That's the expression <laughs> to everything that I learned. I can't wait to share it. Like right now I'm studying the whole thing about the adrenals holding on to sodium or you need a certain amount of sodium to make aldosterone, to regulate cortisol, and everything is like the right amount, and every individual, and symptoms, and what to look for, and then I'm going to talk more about that. That's my life. I love it. I love researching. I love doing my consultations. I love all that stuff. I'm not a very good money maker because I could be making more money right now or chasing more followers on YouTube. It's just not my thing. I really appreciate the intimacy of the group of people that are real followers that stick with what I'm doing and have seen me evolve over the years and become more humbled by life and life experience and learning more about the body and being able to share it with you guys and try to help people as best I can. So thank you for my 100k subscribers. Uh, somebody said, you gotta, you gotta do a video. I was like, oh yeah, I should probably do a video saying that thank you for this uh for you guys for my core people who've stuck around for stuff so thank you everyone and i need to get going out the door to tend to my horse thunder as you know that i love so much who's such a different horse but i actually got him because i could see that the lights were home and somebody the lights were on and somebody was home and that dang horse who's super smart but plus i I like to bring out his intelligence. I used to have a dog that um, I also did the same thing with. You know, I'm just whatever. Uh, my dog from the past, my little Shazami. But with that said, you guys, uh, thank you again. And I hope you guys are living your best life through these crazy times. And I'm out. You guys, to learn more, go to stephanieperson.com. You go, You guys know I'm in transition to move out of Cali. Uh, so I keep telling people if they don't, if there's no dates available on my my um, website or my calendar website, then please go to the contact list and say ask ask to put, be put to be put on the short list, which is growing. I don't think I call it the short list anymore. But as soon as I move, I'll be in a place where my course will be in the backyard and I can have consultations all day long instead of like, oh, I got to be careful with my time. With that said, and also have a course where I cover low carb, high fat now, because a lot of people have a hard time transitioning, they have hypoglycemia, thyroid issues, and they're tanking, the hormones are tanking on low carb diets because they don't know how to get it going right. Or to be honest, people with gallbladder issues and the tutka and the ox bile is not working or the lipase, these digestive enzyme, then I'm like, all right, let's get the gallbladder corrected, potentially do a cleanse and put you on low carb high fat before entering keto, which is the best place to be. I'm not even going to lie. A quasi carnivore that's keto. That means mostly animal with a little bit of plant, a little bit of plant and a lot of fat from animals. All right, now I got to go because I got some energy, 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 energy at 53.
y'all. 53. Still got the freaking gains. And I'm out. Peace.